In 2004, Green Day released American Idiot and promptly revolutionized rock music. Hailed by Time Magazine as a masterpiece, the album launched the band into superstardom, selling over 12 million copies and winning the Grammy for Rock Album of the Year. While on Broadway, Tony Award-winning director Michael Mayer was assembling one of the most innovative teams in the theater to join with Green Day and bring American Idiot to the stage. The idea of theatricalizing this album came to me just from listening to it over and over again and hearing a very strong emotional narrative. It was the story of American youth looking to improve their lives and I felt like that's just such a great coming of age story. I was able to hear a really um, intense, beautiful story right away. There's so much here that feels like it's new and fresh and pushing the boundaries that I think that when all is said and done, American Idiot is going to have a very important place in this rich uh, art form of musical theater. Do you wanna be an American Idiot? The stage version of American Idiot had its world premiere at Berkeley Rep in September 2009. After two extensions and one record-breaking run later, the move to Broadway was inevitable. I play the character of Johnny, a.k.a. the Jesus of Suburbia. I kind of lead my friends into this catharsis of what there's got to be something else out there. I don't know what it is, but this just can't be all there is. I think immediately in the first time that you see our, our characters um, meet, there's this very quick kind of like, there's something about you that does something to me. And he shows her almost like a, a sweet gesture to her that is funny to her and makes her laugh and makes her feel warm and less empty and less alone. We've always thought that somehow it, 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 there should be some sort of stage version because that's what we were thinking in our heads, you know. The musical arrangements that Tom Kitt did, you know, I mean, it's amazing. And their, their energy is just, it's just inspiring. Television dreams of tomorrow, we're not the ones in the bottom.